Now we shall head in a rather eastish direction. Now to uncover what Detective Tigger has detected. When Detective Tigger tell the story about a honey jar that's missing, you can solve the crime every time. <laughs> All you have to do is listen, 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 shh, listen. <laughs> So, you want to solve mystifying mysteries? First, we got to recreate the scene of some baffling old cases of mine. Here's how to solve them the Detective Tigger way. I'm going to read from my detective notes, and you just listen to what I say. Then, you get to use these official detective thingamadoodles and move them onto this big board when I say to. When we reach the end of the case, I'll ask you the solution to the mystery, and you click on the right thingamagiggy. <laughs> Not just anybody can be a detective, you know. Gotta pass the test. Listen to five of my most famous cases. Cases. Every time you finish a case, you get a star on the edge of the board there. Get all five stars, and you qualify for your very own detective license. Mystery number B. The case of the sneaky sand pit, in which I had to detect whose toys was whose's. Rue was playing in the sandy sand pit. Bring him onto the board, will ya? This makes things even a bit harder still. So, you want to solve mystifying mysteries? First, we got to recreate the scene of some baffling old cases of mine. Here's how to solve them the Detective Tigger way. I'm gonna read from my detective notes, and you just listen to what I say. Then you get to use these official detective thingamadoodles and move them onto this big board when I say to. When we reach the end of the case, I'll ask you the solution to the mystery, and you click on the right thingamagiggy. <laughs> the case of the squeakity clean bath, in which I, Detective Tigger, had to detectify who dried off Rue after his bath. It was nighty-night time one evening when Rue Boy was in the washing tub. Plunk him onto the board, won't you? It was nighty-night time one evening when Rue Boy was in the washing tub. Plunk him onto the board, won't you? Rue. Mrs. Kanga was there helping him bathe. Bring her on over, too. Kanga. It is perfection of detection. Piglet was there, too, waiting patiently for his turn to bathe. Move Piglet into the scene, would ya? Piglet. Piglet was holding onto a little toy boat and a little rubber ducky. Move those little thingies onto the big board. Toy boat. Rubber ducky. Delicious detecting. Kanga was using the sudsy soap. Go ahead and put the soap on the boardy, please. Soap. When the Rue's bathing was finished, Kanga gave Rue the towel. Go ahead and slide the towel to the board. Towel. I detect a genius at work. Now your detectable question. Who dried off Rue after his bath? Not quite, but keep going. Super duper detecting! You detected little Rue dried himself all by his little Rue self after his little Rue bath. <laughs> the case of the disappearing dirt in which I, Detective Detective Tigger, had to figure out who cleaned up Rabbit's house for him. Rabbit was in his house, just wishing he was done with his cleaning. Put him on the board amongst the dirt. Rabbit. Pooh came by. Let's bring him into the picture. Pooh, that's me. Pooh, that's me. <laughs>
Piglet and Eeyore came over too. Drop Piglet and Eeyore onto the board. Piglet. Eeyore. Eeyore had a dusty dustin' cloth, and Piglet had a broom. Get the dustin' cloth and the broom on the board. Dust. Broom. Unbelievable! Boo Boy had a sponge in one hand and a pail in the other. Set the sponge and the pail on the board. Sponge. Pail. Rabbit had to go before he found out why they were there. Take him off the big board and move him to the little board. Rabbit. Definitely. Now your detectable question. Who, who swept up Bunny Boy's floor? Bingo! Piglet made a clean list. Great job listening to me. The case of the very thirsty plant, in which I, defective Tigger, had to figure out who what Pooh's plant. Pooh Boy was worrying over his sickly little plant. Let's set Pooh and the plant on the board. Pooh, that's me. Plant. Mrs. Kanga and Little Roo hopped in. Hop Kanga and Roo over to the board. Kanga. Roo. Electrifying, detectifying. Rabbit came by, carrying a watery can. Bring Rabbit and the watering can on over, too. Rabbit. Watering can. Kanga gave Pooh some plant foodsies. Go on and move the plant food. Plant food. Delicious detecting. Pooh left to ask Owl how to use the plant foodsy. So move him off the big board and on to the little board. Pooh, that's me. Now your detectorizing question. Who would have watered Pooh Boy's piteous little plant? Good detecting. It was old Long Ears who watered Pooh's plant. And we knew all because of you and my fantastic felt pieces, of course. The case of the very wet walk, in which I, I detectifying Tigger, had to detect who got wet while walking. Pooh and Piglet went for a walk and a wet, wet rain. Set both Pooh and Piglet on the board. Pooh, the Piglet. Kanga and Roo went along with them. Move Kanga and Roo to the big board, please. Kanga. Roo. Electrifying, detectifying. Eeyore was there, too, and he had an um umbrella. Bring Eeyore to the board, and don't forget to move the umbrella over there, too. Eeyore. Umbrella. Piglet had an umbrella, too, but all Pooh Boy had was a big old stick. Put the stick and umbrella on the board. Umbrella. Stick. Unbelievable! Mrs. Kanga had a rain and coat, and Roo had a big hat on. Put the raincoat and big hat on the board. Raincoat. Rain hat. Now for your detective's question. Who got all wet? That's it. Pooh Boy got all wet because he didn't have a raincoat or an umbrella or a hat. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> You're going to be a great detective one day. <laughs> the case of the flooded up floor in which I, detectifying Tigger, had to determine who spilt water all over Owl's floor. One day, Owl was sitting in his rocking chair, rocking and reading a book and being Owl. Now put Owl up there with something to read, if you will. Book. Pooh came by and gave Owl some flowers to sniffle at. Move Pooh and the flower and flowers onto the board. Pooh. Fantastical! Oh, Piglet and Roo dropped by, too. Put Piglet and Roo on the board, too, will ya? Piglet! 
It was luncheon time, so Piglet had some haycorns, and Roo munched some crackers. Go on and put the haycorns and crackers on the boardy. As right as right can be. Pooh had a glass of water, and Owl had an icy cream cone. Go ahead and put the glass of water and icy cream cone on the board. Glass of ice cream. Hmm, ice cream cone. Now your detectifying question. Who do you think spilt the water all over the floor? Perfecto! <laughs> you detected that old Pooh boy made the messiest of messes. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. There's one thing a detective really needs. It's a good bubble pipe. Yep, I'll just get this back to your tree house. In consideration of your superbical skills at solving mysterious mysteries and cracking confusalant cases, I hereby award you with this official Tigger Detectifying License. <laughs> If you click just about anywhere, but not on this piece of paper, we can keep playing. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. Come back anytime you want to crack up some more cases. To Owl's house we go. A very wise choice. Welcome, welcome. Just in time for my poetry recital. Today, I'll be reading from Owl's Book of Poems. Written, compiled, created, arranged, and composed entirely by <laughs> myself. Ahem, and music by yours truly. I saw Roo and Pooh looking for an old... T. All you must do is move the rhyming thing to Owl's music sheet. Ahem. <clears throat> there will be five poems on the program. Please don't fall behind. Those musical notes on the piano will help you keep track. This makes things even a bit... Tiggers do not care for peas. Perhaps they'd like a piece of... Fish. I'm sorry to say, these poems are too poemish. Would you be so kind to think in your mind of a word that makes this rhyme? Even I can do it. <laughs> Some of the time. <laughs> All you must do is move the rhyming thing to Owl's music sheet. Tiggers do not care for peas. Perhaps they'd like a piece of cheese. You took the pathetical and made it poetical. Piglet worked until mid-June, blowing up a big shoe. Piglet worked until mid-June, blowing up a big balloon. Not a minute too soon, you got him in tune. A bath for Owl? Quick, get a... Comb! A bath for Owl? Quick, get a... Towel! What a miracle! You made it lyrical! To go outside, pull the door handle. To light up the dark, we'll need a corn. Duck. To 
to go outside, pull the door handle. To light up the dark, we'll need a candle. You fixed that rhyme just in time. This is true, this I swear. Two apples do not make a suit. This is true, this I swear. Two apples do not make a pear. TTFN, ta-ta for now. <laughs> I gotta stop fiddling around and get this guitar back to your tree house. To play this game again, click the pink balloon to go. Now to see our bouncy friend Tigger and his bouncy jacks in their boxes. Presenting my brand spanking new Tiggerific invention! Tiggers, Jack in the Boxies! But not just any old Jack in the Boxies. <laughs> Each one sounds like a different letter. Only I forgot to figure which letter matches what sound. Say, if you help me, we can be co inventing partners. Why don't you crank the handle on these boxes to hear what sound it makes, then show me what letter goes with it. I've got lots of these jack-in-the-boxes to label, four sets by my calculations. So, let's use those marks in the dirt to keep track of how many we got to do. <laughs> This makes things even a bit harder still. Why don't you crank the handle on these boxes to hear what sound it makes, then show me what letter goes with it. Oh, I have a little secret. Some of my jack-in-the-boxes make funny blendy sounds. <laughs> That's when two different letters get together to make one big sound, like the letter CH make a CH sound. F F fish. SH shell. P, P, P's in a pod. Z, 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 Z. Z, Z, zebra. Ba 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 boo. B b bubbles. As a puzzle, Go 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 go. G G gift. Bra 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 bra. B R br brush. Tra 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 tra. T R tr tree. La 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 la. L la lollipop. Woohoo!
Alligator. Fantabuloso. GL gl globe mama 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 m m moon r r r r r r r r V V violin cra 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 C R cra crab Skunk. Blah 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 blah. B L bl blueberries. I thank you, thank you, and re thank you. Look out below, here she comes. <laughs> Well, I'd be off my rocker to pass this up. Let me get it back to your treehouse. To play this game again. To go back to the wood. To loo <laughs> to you. Now, we shall pay a visit to a very good friend. Such as yourself. <laughs> I think Tigger came by again with a little something new for you. Shall we go inside and see? If you're going in, might I come too? In case any stray honey's been left laying about. Let's go to your contraption and see what sorts of sounds Tigger brought this time. Finish them all. So here's a special treat for you. <laughs> you get to add even more sounds to your already terrifical sound and doorbell. Oh. Just click on your contraption whenever you'd like to change the sounds it makes. Now, whenever you want to see if you're home, just ring the old doorbell that you yourself made. P 
cupboard. Noise maker. This, I'm certainly sad to say, means you'll be leaving a hundred acre wood for a while. If you really must go, click on the green balloon. Are you most certainly certain you must go? If you are, then pick the yellow balloon. But if you'd like to explore just a little bit more, choose the purple balloon. I shall simply say a simple good day, for when you're of a mind to play again, the Hundred Acre Wood will always be here, and will always be waiting just for you.